All right, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and that means it is time to cook. First thing you want to do is scan the old QR code here on your screen, and that'll take you right to a link for today's recipe. So how do you like them apples? I've been waiting to say that all morning. It's apple season right now. They're at their peak. Find some good apple recipes. I think I've got two pretty good ones for you. I'm going to do a baked apple French toast casserole. But let me start off with apple cider donut holes. Uh, I've mixed together some apple cider, some shredded apples, some flour, sour cream. Full recipe is up on the web. And then these are just going to go into uh, a muffin pan. Mini muffin pan is what I did. But uh, th this is just a regular muffin pan. But take an ice cream scoop and just put one scoop in each of the holes. Simple as that. 375 degree oven for about 12 minutes. And they, uh, they come out uh, super great. Let me just show you uh, what we've got here that we've been baking up all morning. My first time cooking in one of these silicone muffin pans. I've never used one before, but it's fantastic. What I'm gonna do with these muffins that are already done, these little mini muffins, I'm gonna paint them on top with a little maple syrup. Then on top of the maple syrup, we'll go some uh, cinnamon sugar, just for a little extra sweetness. But these are just loaded with fresh apples. I used honey crisp apples for these. One apple, I shred it up. And then the uh, cinnamon sugar goes on top. And those will be gone in a few minutes. But here's a batch also that we did uh, earlier. So we've got the nice apple cider donut holes. Next up, we've got this uh, French toast apple uh, uh, casserole right now. So I'm starting off with some brioche bread that I cut into cubes, mixing four eggs into the mixture, mixing some whole milk, I'm gonna mix some half and half in there as well. Now this is also gonna get a little bit of vanilla extract, some white sugar, and also, let's get all the white sugar in there, also some uh, cinnamon. All the, all the uh, ingredients, of course, are in the recipe that's on the web. So you're gonna let this soak for a little while, a little longer than we have time for here today, but let the bread mixture soak for about 10 minutes. And then earlier, I was uh, sauteing some apples. These are our Granny Smith apples this time uh, with some brown sugar. Whoops. And that goes into the mixture. Goes into the bread mixture. Give it a super good stir and mix. And then you're going to bake this in. My pan is right here. I'm going to go into a greased pan. It's kind of disgusting right now, but this bakes up beautifully. 375 degree oven for about a half an hour. And here's what it looks like when it's done. This comes out so fantastic looking. Wow, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. A little bit crispy on top. Uh, nice and moist in the bottom with the brioche. You can get today's recipes by scanning that QR code that's up on your screen. You can also go to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks, or uh, we can automatically send you the recipes every week. If you text the word uh, Cooks to 97999, I'm going to cut this up and serve it, and uh, we will be right back.